More science and less stigma. NASA says we need to change the way we perceive unidentified flying objects or UFOs. The space organization released a year-long study into UFOs on Thursday saying that negative predispositions posed an obstacle to collecting data. However, the big question which everyone will want to know, are we alone in the universe? Well, that's still up for debate. Uh, to help us unearth this report, I'm joined now by Avi Loeb, Professor of Science at Harvard University. Avi, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Um, obviously, a uh, big report. It's taken a year to release. Uh, what were the key findings? Thanks for having me. Um, they looked, uh, this study looked at uh, open data, and uh, frankly, the most exciting data may be classified by US government because if it was collected by sensors that the US does not want adversaries to be aware of, uh, the data itself is classified. Uh, the NASA committee uh, basically established uh, the rules for scientific inquiry into the nature of these unidentified objects. And um, obviously, we want instruments that uh, are fully calibrated, under control, to look into it. Uh, a couple of years ago, I established the Galileo Project at Harvard University, which is already doing that. And so the hope is that in the coming years, we'll be able to figure out what all these anomalous objects are. And that would be good because then if they are just human made, we can move on. If there is one in a thousand of them that is from outside of this earth, uh, that will change the future of humanity. Of course, that goes back to the old uh, quote, uh, uh, either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally as uh, terrifying. Uh, wh why, why does it matter what we know out there? Oh, because uh, most uh, civilizations that preceded us uh, had more time to develop their science and technology, and we could learn from uh, their advances about our future, technological future. It could inspire us to uh, reach out to the stars. Uh, it could also uh, change our priorities. Instead of engaging in conflicts here on this rock that we were born on, we might uh, venture into space. So altogether, I see it as a very important step forward for humanity, demonstrating that we are intelligent. And I describe it in my new book, uh, which just came out, called The Interstellar. <laughs> Uh, very aptly uh, named, uh, Professor Loeb. Um, now, you, you mentioned that obviously there could be confidential information. Uh, if NASA were to find uh, something of importance, uh, w would they ever actually tell us if we weren't alone? Yeah, anything interstellar um, should be shared by all humans because the, such an object started the journey when humans did not exist on Earth uh, millions or billions of years ago. And um, moreover, from a distance, uh, any sender does not care about how we split the land on Earth. So it's not a matter of national security. It should be scientific knowledge that is shared by all humans. And hopefully we'll get to the bottom of the nature of these objects. You know, the sky is not classified. The oceans are not classified. I just came back from an expedition to the Pacific Ocean to look at the first interstellar meteor. And we found that the composition is uh, of something that came from outside of the solar system. So we can make progress using the scientific method and stay tuned. Uh, we might find something. Well, we might find something. I, I'm just curious because there was only $100,000 uh, put towards this particular uh, report. Uh, do you envisage uh, more future uh, research uh, similar to this where we will get bigger budgets, bigger funding, and we might actually find more things? Well, actually, the expedition we had to the Pacific Ocean cost one and a half million dollars. The funding came from a private donor. So uh, I don't I'm not waiting for the government to uh, make the decision to fund this heavily. There are lots of people in the public that are curious and uh, we can pursue this uh, scientifically uh, using new observatories because uh, astronomy was focused on looking through telescopes in a very narrow field of view. We have to look at the entire sky. We might need to use microscopes if we find interstellar meteors at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. So altogether, uh, we shouldn't just wait for government to do the right thing. We can pursue it ourselves. This subject belongs to the mainstream of science 
because the public cares about it and now the government cares about it. They care, absolutely. Thank you so much, Professor, for uh, joining us. That's Professor Avi Lob, uh, Senior uh, Professor of Science at uh, Harvard University.